Welcome to Country Underground. We're going to feature some of the greatest country artists around today. Our Yasmin caught up with Adam from the Adam Eckersley Band. I think you'll agree, he's a pretty cool guy. Hey, hey, welcome to Country Underground. I am here at the Royal Hotel with a very, very important guest. His name is Adam Eckersley from the Adam Eckersley Band. Welcome to Gimpy. Thank you very much. It's good to be here. Sure is. <laughs> now, this is your second day of your tour. How's it going so far? Awesome. We've um, travelled about 12 hours. We rocked last night in Grafton and had a really great turnout. And we're looking forward to playing some more music tonight here. Sounds great. So how long do you reckon your tour will go on for? As long as people keep having us at their venues, we'll keep playing to them. So everyone, make sure you book your tickets for Adam Eckersley when he's coming to your town, OK? Got it. And also, I saw you guys perform at Tamworth Country Music Festival, Golden Guitars. Yeah. That was very cool. We'll, we'll just stoked to be involved and get the nomination and then to be able to play there was real real buzz yeah. yeah was that your first nominee yes certainly was we didn't win but it was good to be involved <laughs> well you still got next year <laughs> yeah well, i don't know how new we'll be then we're, we're all feeling pretty old <laughs> not even day old two of the tour <laughs> only day two well have you got any hmm, tips for being on tour as in with your throat do you get ever get sore well, I'd like to say just be sensible, try and get a bit of sleep and stuff. I'm not the best person to say that because I usually ignore my own advice, but um, we're talking just before about the whole lozenger thing and whatever, I don't actually do that because I've been told and I find it's, it happens is it numbs your throat so you, you don't sing properly then because you just can't feel anything, you sing bad and it's worse the next day sort of thing so I don't know warm water if you get stuck I don't have any sort of magical medicines and stuff that's good that's good well also yeah you can I've found the biggest thing that screws your voice is stress if you stress out before a show um, about losing your voice you're probably going to lose it so if you can relax and just turn up and do what you already know you can do there's no reason really why you should lose your voice. It happens to everyone, but if you can cut down the stress levels and just relax, you should sleep. It's a bit about your mindset, isn't it, as well? I think a big part of it is the mindset, definitely, yeah. Well, also, I have found out that on your the first album it is actually called, you have done all the guitar work on this. You are a champion. Thank you. <laughs> it's OK. So how was it? You must feel very proud of yourself. And how are the boys going with, like, you know, promoting a CD and they're not even in it, really? Oh, well, Scotty played all the bass tracks. Benny played on the record. Um, so that everyone was kind of involved. It's just the band was coming together through the recording process. So they weren't there. We didn't get to record the band live because it kind of, unless you've been on the road for 12 months and got that connection that's... Uh, more than just musical, it's not really worth doing the live thing. Like next record we'll record live because we've been playing for so long together. But, um, you know, we all really dig the songs and, and enjoy playing them live and stuff. And the boys have brought new life to the, to the songs that they didn't play on. And um, I'm stoked the fact that I got to record. It was either going to be a live record with a band in a room, but because we couldn't, we didn't have a full band that had been touring I opted to play all the guitars myself and overdub and stuff and it's a different sort of proud but I'm still very proud of it, yeah. Should be anyway. So your second album, do you think it will be called the second album because this is called the first album? That's the plan, we just wanted to take the thinking out of it. It's coming up with album names and band names and baby names, they're all, they take time and we'd, we'd rather any time we've got available get in the shed and jam so we just thought well let's call that the first album then we're pretty much sorted for all the albums to come but we might throw in you know album four might be called Jonathan or something I don't know just for 
Jonathan, that sounds pretty crazy. It's out there, man. <laughs> it's out there, just like you. And also, what we want to do, what Country Underground would love to do, is we would love to broaden the image of country music. I think you guys are really doing that because you guys are classified as cool country, you know, hippie right. country. Cool, that's, I didn't realise that, but that's cool. Yeah, do you think over the years that country has changed to a bit of that, you know, more, more rock and roll, more alternative? Well, I think it's always been there, but it's probably rising to the top a little bit more. It's coming out there like I was always in the bands like Charlie Daniels band and stuff. And obviously he's known for Devil Went Down to Georgia, but he had some really rocking stuff, you know, way back when. Um, and th those bands were the ones that more influenced me. And, you know, hearing the Allman Brothers do a country song, Little Feed, Leonard Skinner, all those guys. So it's always been happening. I just think it's been embraced a little bit more now because for the last 10 whatever 12 years it's been fairly similar stuff happening and I reckon it's exciting because it's still got all the traditional stuff happening there's some really cool cats doing that there's the pop stuff which is broadening it to a lot of people and now they're embracing a bit of southern rock sort of country which is cool got it all covered Definitely. And also, I was looking at one of your articles on the internet yeah. and I found a quote. Right. I have found a quote. And the quote is, all the older cool country stuff with that jam aspect to it. Now, are you happy if I quote you on that? I probably said the sounds like something I would have said. Yeah. I don't know what it was in reference to, but... <laughs> Well, yeah, so you definitely have quite a few influences that are not just the same country, you know, like Led Zeppelin is one of your big influences. Who else is your big influence? Stevie Ray Vaughan, uh, JJ Cale, love him. James Taylor was a big one. Uh, Dave Matthews Band, Derek Trucks. Um, heaps of just really broad stuff and we've, we've got a fairly big band with a lot of great musicians I'm lucky enough to play with and I love hearing musicians sort of rock out and that's where the jam aspect comes in. It's a shame to have dudes that can, you know, really go outside and make them stay in the box sort of thing. So we all just get the skeleton of the song together and then just put the meat on and however it looks at the end, it looks, you know. Yeah, it's cool. That's great. And do you guys socialise with the Gimpy Muster? Are you going to the Gimpy Muster this year again? Shit, yeah. Yep. You can say that. It's okay. We can do whatever we want. We're in charge here. It's okay. I, I like to say frig, yeah, but that's mine instead of instead of a swear word. But <laughs> so you definitely will be. Yes, we'll be there. Well, we'll see you there then. Indeed. All right. Sounds great. Well, it's been fabulous talking to you, Adam. Good luck with the rest of your tour. You rock on. Right on, Yasmin. Thank you very much. Cheers. Have you got anything you'd like to say to the camera? In the last few words. Um. Go out and see a band, dig music and be happy and spread the spread the goodness. Good vibes everywhere. Yeah. Alright, that's it. You're watching Country Underground and goodbye. If you think Adam was great, wait until you see the band live. This is the Adam Eckersley band at the Royal Hotel in Gimpy. Thank you.